Hey, Andrea. Look, Miss, you downtown from Emerald City. Well, listen, have you seen Diane? Oh. Wasn't she due back from vacation today? Yeah, but she didn't show up for her shift, so they asked me to stay, which is a royal pain in my ass, because I think oh, I got the flu. Oh, yeah, look, look, don't breathe on me. I can't afford to get sick. <laughs> and I can. Please, I got three kids. My husband been puking for the past two days. Oh, shit. Well, listen, if you hear from Diane, will you please tell her to call me? Sure. And uh, feel better. I've been thinking, or feeling. I know I've been all over the place and back with this thing, but maybe we could try it again, together. You busy? Uh, no, no, no. Come on in. What's the problem? No problem. Hey, uh, I just got off the phone with Diane. Yeah, where is she? Oh, she's still in London. I just called her hotel. They said she checked out. Yeah. Uh, you know, her two weeks are up. What, what is, it, it, she was supposed to come back to work today. What's she still doing in London? Well, you know, she and Dee Dee uh, were standing in front of Buckingham Palace. And uh, she got into a conversation with a guard. I thought they didn't talk. He was on a break. Anyway, um, one thing led to another. And uh, they're going to get married. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm serious. She's getting married? Yeah. To a Bobby? No, no, not a Bobby, Tim. He's a guard. He guards the queen. Yeah, well, then I can see how they've got a lot in fucking common! Oh, fuck! Jesus fucking Christ! Did she leave a number? She doesn't want to talk to you. Yeah, well, I got a hell of a lot I want to say to her. Which is why she doesn't want to talk to you. She really feels very badly. Oh, really? Now, listen, Tim. Diane Whittlesey has not had an easy life. Poverty, spousal abuse, single motherhood, her mom dying after a very long illness. And just now, on the phone, her voice, she sounded so happy. If you need to talk. What I need is a drink. Tim. Don't worry, sister. This is what guys who've been dumped do in order to move on. <sighs> Cheerio. Tim, I know by now that Sister Pete has given you the news that I'm not coming back to Oz. This all must seem unreal to you. It sure as hell does to me. When I left two weeks ago on vacation, I never dreamed that my entire life could turn around so fast. I never dreamed that I would meet a man like Carrie, so loving, so understanding. Busy. I heard you're running Unit B now. My boys behaving themselves? 
Diane, what do you want? To see if you're okay. I'm good. I gotta go. Okay. 